finally decided to make a video about my night vision setup. I didn't really want to make a video till I'd used it a couple of times and figured out what I liked and didn't like about it. I have a TNVC PVS-14 and a FLIR breech and it's on the Mod Armory bridge. Just kind of, it's like binoculars where you can adjust it down. And I have this over my weak eye and the PVS-14 over my strong eye. I also have another one of the dovetail receptacles. So if I did get a second night vision tube, I could take this off and put that on. And I believe Mod Armory is about to actually come out with a FLIR breech adapter for this that's that's much better. Instead of it being this proprietary unit that needs to replace the dovetail receptacle, it puts a dovetail adapter on here that has a good offset for lining up with your eyes so you can switch it more seamlessly. I think that'd be a lot better. Um, probably will change over to that when it's released, if it's released. But yeah, this is pretty cool. This is an awesome mount. Here, working my way down, this is the Wilcox uh, the bridge mount was designed to work with this particular mount the best. I had an Erodos one before this and it wouldn't allow the tubes to fold up as tight because that's one of the nice things about this is when you have it folded up uh, much tighter so it's not sticking out like crazy. And then this is the universal shroud that Wilcox makes. I actually got this all together as a complete kit and then I have the removable lanyard on there as well. Uh, the only thing I needed to do to get this to work properly, I don't know if you could see in the video, was uh, the mounting screws end up sticking out like crazy uh, when you mount it to this cry nightcap. So I trimmed them down so it wouldn't be snagged on and then just blacked them out a little bit. Eventually I'll have a helmet but I don't really need a helmet and the thing that's cool about this is it can all just tighten up even with all the stuff on it and it could fit in a cargo pocket and this is made of good material you can see there's a big pad in the front and then the mounting screws uh, it's got quite a bit of adjustment uh, one thing I did notice with this is when you do have it adjusted this chin strap at least for me it never ends up like straight it looks a little cockeyed but it does do the job working the way back it's got a little glint tape up there uh, this is the Unity Spark, uh, push it once and it's a constant on IR and hit it again and it's a blinking IR beacon, hit it a third time it turns off. Got the EOG Velcro counterweight, this is the short one, they make one that's longer and then they make a narrow one. The reason why I decided to put this one on here, Cry does make one that is specifically meant for these, but what it does is this Velcro right here, it attaches and then adjustment right here, it kind of feeds through it. If I want to wear my headset with it, the uh, nape or whatever this piece is called that goes around the back of your neck, the neck band, uh, would get in the way. So you couldn't really wear a headset with it very well or it was pushing it up. And this one's nice and low profile, sits up higher so it doesn't get in the way, which is great. Um, I don't even have this filled all the way and it works. I got like half the weights that come with it in there and it seems to be working pretty well. You can see how tight that is, which is awesome. Then you know you can pull it down. And then like if you don't want to be looking through the thermals, you can put just the night vision down or you know vice versa. Say like what I did with it this morning was it was the sun was coming up and it was enough to be able to see with your eyes. So I folded that up and I kept just the thermal down. So anything in the tree line, when I was looking around, you'd see animals in the tree line that you necessarily wouldn't see with your eyes, but it was enough to be able to navigate with your naked eye so you're not fighting the depth perception. And this thing fits nice and snug on your head. Uh, when I'm done talking about it, I'll put it on and kind of show you what it looks like wearing on there. I'm very happy with this setup. Uh, the only real flaws with it that I found are really just because of me. Uh, the, the specific gear I have, like for example, 
This is a green tube. I've had this for since 2013. So looking through a green tube and then a mostly black and white screen on the thermal, it kind of messes with your eyes a little bit. Probably what I'll do is upgrade to a white phosphorus tube. That will make them blend together really well. But when it got to be a major issue, all I did was close my left eye and use the night vision and then you can switch back and forth for looking because uh, you can't aim with your lasers and stuff that are mounted on uh, whatever weapon system you're using to engage with this. It's just for identification. So like uh, a hog that I killed yesterday, I would have missed it if I just had night vision because it was at that time of the night where there was a lot of shadow being cast underneath the trees and it was underneath the trees but immediately I was able to see it with this. So I got the general idea, close my left eye and then look through the night vision tube. And then using the uh, Surefire Vampire Light, I knew where it was, you know, and was able to take the shot and get it, which was pretty cool. Uh, this is a great tool for finding. This is a great tool for engaging. It's like the best of both worlds. Um, obviously is a little heavy out front, but it's no more heavy than any other dual tube system that you'd be using. And I don't really think you can get more versatile than this system, because say you did have the nightcap, and like I said, I'll eventually get a helmet. I mean, you just get the same shroud, and you take this off, and you could put it on your helmet system as well. Uh, even the counterweights and all the other stuff, uh, you can do that too. All right, you can see I got everything on here and it, it all matches up really well in the back. It's, uh, everything's comfortable, you know. Sucks that I wear glasses, but uh, you learn to deal with it. Have to fold everything down and see it right in front of you. Like I was saying, you can kind of move either one of these out of the way. Uh, the, the squeaking I kind of don't like, but I'm wondering if over enough time that will go away or you can take a flathead and kind of adjust these. Um, even if, say, you're getting in out of vehicles more, even just having it like this and having them both folded up, uh, obviously it sticks out quite a bit. So for storage at my house and for transport, I have a Pelican Storm case. This is the IM2100. It's lockable and stuff. And everything plus all the extras fit in here. You can see I got the nightcap. I left some extra space that goes underneath where the nightcap is in case I get a second night vision tubes. So that way if I want to run duels. And then in here I got this little thing, I got all the different little tools, a couple extra sacrificial lenses and extra hardware for everything to do with the bridge mount and stuff, uh, night vision, everything like that. Uh, down at the bottom in here, I have some more of the counterweights. So if the setup gets heavier, I can change that out. I have my uh, mod armory. Uh, this is goes on your cell phone and you put a PVS-14 on it, you know, just keeping all the night vision gear together. The uh, Wilcox arm goes there. Two different uh, spare battery things. You know, one with the CR123s that go both in my lasers, flashlights, and the thermal, and then some double A's for the PVS14. Uh, the Wilcox single arm. So if I want to just for sure only run one night vision, uh, I got the eyepiece for if you want to weapon mount the PVS-14 that doesn't quite have a home in here, it just kind of sits wherever. Uh, the Unity Spark, the eye cup, and the sacrificial lens for the PVS-14. Obviously the bridge setup, and right now I got the FLIR and the PVS-14 on it. This is the other dovetail receptacle for if you want to switch it out on there and it does have like a separate J-arm. 
Um, then the Wilcox adapter for mounting a PVS-14 on a weapon system and making it so it'll swing back and forth. And that's all I could really think of to put in the kit. You know, I didn't want to make it too crazy, but it keeps everything all together and safe and lockable. So if you're somebody who travels for using it for work or whatever, you know, this is a nice neat case and you could take this as a carry-on. Uh, that way you don't need to trust checking in, you know, how it's all this expensive gear. And if you did need to check it in, you can still lock the container. Hopefully this uh, overview of my setup might give you some ideas for yours. I'll probably do another video in the future. For now, I'm very happy with the setup. It's nice and lightweight. You know, I'm not worried about all the ballistic helmet stuff because I'm not out here getting shot at by hogs and everything. Uh, just wanted it, you know, to be as lightweight as possible. Not opposed to a helmet, but an $80 nightcap compared to a $600 ballistic helmet is a little different. Anyway, any questions you got about any of the stuff, anything specific in here, uh, let me know.